Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're going to go over helper columns in Excel. So helper columns are useful when you're putting together reports and you want to do some aggregation uh, for spe at a specific level. Um, and helper columns help you reduce the amount or reduce the length of the formula you're writing. And it helps, I guess, even with time efficiency when you have like when you have um, reports with big calculations in them it helps Excel uh, work through a bit more efficiently just because it has less columns to look through to meet certain conditions um, but I'm gonna go through that with you guys right now using the sum ifs formula you guys know the sum ifs is what I prefer um, when aggregating and sums I prefer it over the sum if because of its flexibility um, but not to get off topic we're gonna use a sum if formula first like you can see here um, without using a helper column right and then we're gonna use the same sum if formula but having used the helper column um, to work through the same aggregation so to start we our end result is we want to sum we want to summarize sales right we want to sum sales at the category customer and week level of detail right so we want for customer TX 1005 we want the sales dollars and the sales units um, for week one under the garage category that's what we're going to be working with uh, our source data is in this tab over here right and to start you can see that we want the summary at the week level but our data is already course it's at the daily level and it's broken out by customer category and then it shows the sales dollars as well as the units um, attached to that right so we're gonna use a sum if formula to get started right so first we know the sum is formula takes um, it takes a sum range then you have to explicitly provide what's the first criteria range followed by the second followed by the first criteria then what's the second criteria range followed by the second criteria and so on and so forth given however many criteria you have in this case we're going to be working with three criteria right we want the cat we want to match the category we want to match the customer number and we want to match a specific week right so our first our first um, sum ifs right with no helper columns right I'll leave this here we're gonna walk you through this sum ifs right I want to sum since we're working here with the sales sales dollars right so for sum ifs my sum range is gonna be in my sales right I'm just gonna do this to make it pretty straightforward to follow so I want to sum sales I'm gonna lock this to this column right and now remember we've got three criteria our first criteria range is we want to sum the category level so oh, what did I do there we want to sum at the category level so I'll highlight the category right and then we need to match this specific category to so the garage then the second criteria is we want to sum based on a specific or a particular customer number so criteria range 2 is this column for the customer number right we're going to lock that where is the customer number criteria go back to where we're aggregating right and then finally the third criteria is we want to sum based on week right so I don't think I opened up the week yet oh look at that rookie mistake so let's add in the week detail since we're still at the date level right so I'm gonna close this out close this formula sum ifs out only using the first and second criteria which is the category and customer level because I need to add in the week level detail even though we don't have it right now right so this value this 5152 is specifically garage sales for this customer for the entire um, time that the data is based on right because we haven't added in that week criteria so let's add in the week criteria 
in this hidden grouping I've already added in the weak criteria right so essentially we're just gonna say look at we're gonna use a weak weak num function to look at the order date right and it's gonna give me the weak number of that order date copy that all the way down right so now we can add in go back in here and add in the criteria for the weak number right because we need that to be accurate given the level we want the aggregation at right so now we add in the weak number column for criteria 3 range and then where is that criteria at oh wrong one right here right week 2 so there we go that's 0 let's copy this down okay so here we go for customer TX 1005 in the garage category these were the sales looks like we had sales dollars in week 3 week 4 week 6 and then week 9 so using without using helper columns here you can see we had to provide each 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 criteria's range where it can where the criteria is listed at right so we have a range and a criteria range and a criteria range and a criteria so here we outlined um, one two three four five six different um, locations that Excel is going to be looking for um, criteria to match well three locations and three criteria right um, so now we're gonna look at using helper columns helper columns are gonna help us shorten down this formula so um, we don't have to write as much right on the I guess the back end you could say or on the front end right so first to start a helper column is essentially gonna help us reduce all this work by what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those three criteria right and we're gonna combine them that's the thought right we're gonna combine these three criteria to give us a particular ID based on those criteria right so what we're gonna do from there once we have those IDs is we're gonna point our our criteria range and our criteria to look for that particular ID so then we're only specifying at the end of the day one criteria range and one criteria right a little difficult to follow we'll work through it right now right so first let's create the ID for the criteria so essentially what you're gonna do is you're just gonna concatenate and I like to concatenate and then separate with an underscore so it's easy to see the the um, the makeup of each ID right so you're just gonna simply gonna take right each criteria right so we know we want to aggregate at the category customer and week level right so what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is say first criteria is category right then I'm gonna add in my underscore right so first criteria is category let me copy this second criteria is the customer number right so I added that in then add my underscore and the last criteria is the week number so now we have customer or category excuse me category customer and week number so that's a combination of the three criteria right and that's one specific ID Oh, so it looks like I did it backwards for this one. So let me copy this all the way down, right? So now every row matches a particular criteria, right? Every row actually has its criteria outlined. So this row shows we're looking at outdoors for Texas 7378 or TX 7378, excuse me, for week one. All right, we go down further. This row it says we're looking at housewares, customer RI6139 for week three. The row below it, or a few rows below. This row is particular to uh, to the outdoors category, customer NJ5805 for week three. 
so on and so forth all the way down you can see at the very end we have data through I guess week 19 this ID is particular to the outdoors category customer CA 5067 for week 19 right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sum ifs right equal sum ifs and the the sum range obviously still sales dollars remains the same so we'll lock that there and now this is where the difference comes in now we already have the three criterias concatenated and those three criterias are concatenated in this row so this is the criteria range right where we tell Excel look for the three combination the three con criteria combination in this row and now we just provide the criteria so this is where we do a little bit more work to save work for the rest on the I guess the back end right so now we're gonna say the criteria Excel is gonna be give me this customer number right and then give me my underscore again right so concatenate this customer number oh no I'm sorry concatenate this category right then at give me the underscore and then concatenate along for this customer number right give me an underscore and then concatenate for this particular week right so this is my criteria right this combination of category customer and week number let me just add in some cell references over here right so now if we copy this down we should see 1417 over here alright check that out 2141 0 that lines up 406 here okay 411 here let's just copy it all the way down right so it matches exactly right the advantage to the helper column is that we had to type less right less typing so it's quicker to implement these um, not only that but Excel has to look through less right so Excel now is not looking through column H matching here then column G matching here then column E matching here now Excel is simply looking through column B and matching this combination right so we're helping Excel out as well um, and I guess not only that but it's easier to follow our formula right because now instead of having um, what we saw was the six arguments just for the criteria we only have two arguments technically right so that's where helper columns come into play it helps increase our efficiency increase Excel's efficiency and it makes it easier to read right our formula when we have to go back and and say do diagnosis or if we want to change it up a bit uh, a few things to keep in mind right and I think you guys might have picked it up was um, when you're setting up these criteria obviously the criteria when you when you concatenate right you have to make sure that it's in the same sequence um, that you set up the helper column right so here we have the helper column set up as category customer number and week number so let me update this category customer number and week number right so you have to have that same sequence that same order of the concatenation has to follow in both uh, has to be the same in both your criteria range as well as your actual criteria otherwise you're not going to have matches right because the, there won't be any actual match if they're not in the same order on both ends um, so something to keep in mind um, but a beauty once you have the helper column set up like you can see how I did you can just hide your columns and it's not there it's not visible 
but you still have the savings on the back end through the efficiency and it's easier to read um, but anyways guys this is the helper columns if you have any more questions or if anything's unclear just shoot me a comment and i'll get back to you as soon as possible like always hit the like button hit the subscribe button and share this with any of your friends that are learning how to put together reports um, to help them analyze data all right guys catch you on the next one